either 2010 or 2011, these two themes, these are the baseline themes of WordPress. When we set up your site, we install a Genesis theme framework, and then we install what's called a child theme on top of this Genesis theme. You don't really need to worry about this. Um, you're not, I, I don't recommend changing themes until you talk to us, unless you're real versed at uh, working inside WordPress and, and designing themes and uh, websites. Most of you aren't in that position. So if you're, please don't mess with this unless you uh, get in touch with us first. Then there's widgets. Widgets are the things, the items that show up mostly in the sidebars of your website. So here we, here we go with, um, this is the sidebar on the front page right here. So she's got one, two, three widgets plugged in at the moment. So let's go take a look quickly at what those are. So primary sidebar and this sidebar goes throughout her website. So you can see here, one, two, three, we have three text widgets. And basically what this is, is a series of uh, pieces of code that we've plugged into her um, widget, this first widget, and we've selected it to go to position number one. If I want, I can change it. I'm gonna save the widget. When I change position like that, it automatically updates the other positions of everything else. So now I'm gonna change this, and now it puts her her social media icons, I move them around. So now what is my home worth is her top widget. So I'm gonna go back and reset that. Change this to one, save widget. Boom, moves it back up. Pretty simple stuff. Again, uh, try not to go in there too much if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, make sure you call us or uh, ask a question before you do anything if you need to. The rest of these are the featured properties, featured posts. Those are all associated with her home page and their widgets here on the front of her website. So it's it's set up in a specific way. If you change it, it can it can change the layout of your of your home page and your secondary pages. So. Um, that's a whole nother lesson in widgets, but that's a quick overview uh, that I'm gonna and I'm gonna stop from there now. Stop with that now. Menus. One of the great things about WordPress is it gives you a very easy way to control menus on your website. So basically, if you added a new page and you want to add that to the to your menu system, basically you'd add a new page up in here add new, do all of your typing to add your page, you save it, and then you come back to down to your menu section, and what, here where it says pages most recent, you'll notice the page that you just added. Uh, typically, it, it will, it's gonna be listed under most recent, and it's gonna be the very first one. All you do is you click it, add a menu, and then it, dumps it in at the very bottom and then you can just left click hold your click down and move it to where you want and drop it in where you want it to go if you want to change this because this is actually what the tab is going to say so if i save my menu so i've now saved that page underneath contact ivy so I'm going to go to her site, I'm going to refresh, and I'm going to go look at her menu where it says Contact Ivy, and there's Goodyear Bank Owned Homes for Sale. This looks funny to me because all these are all single line, and that's a double line. So for aesthetics reasons, I'm the site owner, I don't really like it like that. So I'm going to go in and change that menu item. So I go in here, I'm just gonna change it to Goodyear for now. Goodyear Homes, we'll change it to that. Now it doesn't change the page location, it doesn't change anything on the page when I do this, it just changes the menu. So let's refresh my site. This is done updating now, now I can refresh my site. And let's come back into Contact Ivy and voila, I just changed it to Goodyear Homes. 
and I'm happy with that. So I'm done at adding that page. Now I'm going to go get rid of it because it's not really supposed to be there. So I hit the down arrow and it says remove or cancel. Cancel just means I'm not going to do anything. Remove it means it's gone. Now it only removes it from there because I have it in another location on her website. So I'm not going to, it doesn't impact that one. It just impacted what I just took off. So that's a quick overview of how menus work. It's very simple, click and drag. Again, if you have questions, uh, you know, reach out to us and we can help you out. The next tab down is I'm actually going to, I'm going to leave page because I haven't, actually I'm, I thought I, I'm going to stay on the page or my saver menu because it reminded me, hey, you didn't save the menu. And I'm going to go check her site to just make sure I didn't leave it in any weird way. And that page is now gone. So we're back to where we were. Great. Now I'm going to go into editor. This is definitely a place if you have uh, zero experience in programming, if you have zero experience in working with uh, what we call CSS, which is cascading style sheets, there's CSS. This is all about the design and the function of your website on the, on the code side, the programming side. If you look at this stuff, there's, it's, it's just pretty hard to understand what this is about if you don't know what you're doing. Our recommendation is do not go into this area at all because you can quickly mess up your site and it could take us a while to figure out what you've done if, uh, if you know, depending on how detrimental you uh, messed up this, this area. But there's different, different feet, uh, parts of the website in here that change how your site works and what it looks like. So please don't go in here and edit anything unless you really know what you're doing. Um, I rarely go in here myself. I usually look to the to the folks who get paid more than me and my company to uh, <laughs> to, to program things. Anyway, I uh, I stay out of this as much. Now I do know a few things, but I generally don't try to mess with this too much. Now let's go into plugins. Plugins are different parts, different pieces to a website that help a website do its thing. So. I'm going to look at installed plugins and right now she, this is bringing us up to update available. I'm not going to update this currently. And my recommendation is please don't update anything on your own. Uh, we do have somebody who does that uh, in our company and their whole sole job is to properly update things. If you update your site, sometimes updates uh, don't go as planned. And you have to be able to figure out what happened because your site will go down if it if there's a if there's a glitch in the updating, and it just takes a, an experienced hand to rebound and, and get the site back up. But I'm going to go look at all the plugins. Actually, I'm going to flip over to active plugins. Now these are all the plugins that are working, and. Uh, a Kismet, this is one that stops spam. It should be working on your site when we turn it over to you. Uh, backup Buddy is a manual or an automatic backup that runs on your site. Uh, and Bedly, some of these are different. Uh, While well, these are all different plugins, uh, Gravity Forms is the plugin that we gave you for the forms, the functionality there. WP Cycle, this one is on her front page. This is actually what's making her. Uh, rotator images on our front page go uh, or cycle through that's that plugin i mean it's it's good to go in here and just kind of look and see but again you're probably not going to mess with this too much unless you know what you're doing because there are incompatibilities between plugins and sometimes when you install plugins the site will stop working and you'll have to be able to know how to back out what you did to get your site restored so again uh, if you don't know what you're doing, please don't uh, make any changes to your plugins. Um, users. This is an area to, this is where we set up usernames and passwords for different users. Um, again, this is where you would change your username and password. Please don't change your username and password if you don't let us, or if you do, let us know so we can make changes to our records so we can come in and fix. Work on your site as necessary. 
Now we've set up a couple of different um, username and passwords in here to give all of us um, different level or different access for different reasons. Sheila works for us and she goes in and does a lot of styling changes, etc. So we set her up with her own username and password. Anyway, uh, just a you know a place that you might want to go check things out. But if you make changes, please let us know. Tools, not much to say inside tools. And in fact, I'm not even going to go into it. Settings, not much to say here other than um, when we're building your site, one of the things that's great about WordPress is we can block the search engines from coming in and looking at your site. It's a good idea to have it blocked until your site's basically done before you turn it on to the search engines. You can, you can put it online, but you can keep the search engines from, from crawling it by blocking it with this. So whenever we turn over a website, one of the checklists items that we go through is we come in and we turn in site visibility. We usually don't turn this on until the website owner says, okay, it's, it's time to go live. So we'll click that and we'll go live with the site. Uh, general, some of these are um, the site title, AZ Home. A lot of this gets set up when we set up a website. Uh, I keep my email address in here or uh, one of us keeps our an email. So we get notifications of uh, administrative problems with a website. You can change it and put your email in here, but then you would be responsible for communicating with us anything that anything that you get um, to your uh, inbox that specifically speaks to the administration of your site. Do not check this box. That'll allow people free uh, free ride on your website for entering blog posts, etc. You don't want to do that. The time zone. Uh, I'm actually going to flip this to indicate Phoenix. So hang with me a second here. There, I'm changing that to indicate Phoenix. Uh, work week starts on, on Monday. You can change that if you want to change it to Sunday. It does impact if you set up a calendar what day of the week your uh, calendar would start on but save changes most of you with real estate sites that we work with don't have that ha don't have a calendar installed so there's probably not much reason to go in here and look around uh, same with same with all of these you can go in and look at them but most of it's not going to make sense to you um, you can set it up so that you can post to your website from a phone um, if you're away from your computer if you want to do that, please contact us and we'll help you do that. Uh, reading, this just tells uh, the site where they're, where WordPress is looking to basically set up your front page and um, it, it, you know, just give you some more control over how your website's presented online. Not much for you to, for you to do or know inside there. Media, privacy, media, this is a section that just tells you, tells WordPress how to handle images. Um, mostly this will be set up so that you don't have to mess with it when you get to, um, you know, when you get your site.